uh, touch the lead to yours. So today we are going to be discussing a new topic that is the new religious uh, traditions. Uh, so before going into detail about this new topic, uh, we are going to be revising a few things from the previous part. So in the previous part we have learned about the sculptures and the different sculptures uh, uh, they are showing a different stories about the rural areas and we also along with that we learn about the how the Buddha has been displayed into the different form uh, such as the Buddha was uh, displayed into the form of tree, wheel and the empty seat uh, and many more. Uh, so, uh, such as the, if Buddha was showing into the uh, form of the will, then it is representing the uh, uh, in which place the Buddha was given the first sermon. And uh, if the Buddha was showing into the form of tree, uh, then it's showing that the, uh, all the uh, life of the Buddha. So, these things uh, we have learned in the previous part. And along with that, uh, we also learn about the what is the Shalabhanjigara. The women were engraved into the all the corner of the stupa, uh, and the, it's it's representing the the uh, the woman. If she is touching to the anything, it will be converted into the uh, good one, uh, and uh, it was representing the very auspicious uh, any good things. Uh. So we have uh, learned these things in the previous part. Now today we are going to be learning into the uh, new topic that is the new religious tradition. So during the 6th century BC era, uh, the Buddhism was started. Then after then the gradually uh, during the 1st century C, uh, all these things has been evolved. Uh, there has been evolutions into the, uh, the Buddhism religion itself. So we are going to be discussing these things. <coughs> so by the 1st century C, there was the evidence in the changes into the Buddhism ideas and the practice. Ra. And uh, during the Quran, they only given importance to the self enlightenment. But the later on, there has been evolutions. Ra. Buddhism Buddhism uh, they only given the importance for the self enlightenment and in Mahayana tradition, there has been a worship of the Buddha. In the uh, in the Hinayana traditions, they doesn't have they doesn't believe ra, they doesn't worship for the uh, Buddha ra. Ra, kunsu ke ani chik sangye ani chik pagela ani kudo uche shaaje ani kunsu ke thene thebar uche chhomar ra. Ani chik susu ke ra, susu ke the Buddha ke dunga la raft sumer ra chik. Uh this is all the evolution and uh, the buddhism and the mahayana hinayana were also called as the lesser vehicles and the mahayana was called as a greater vehicle 
Tahine and a decare, Tangshu Chungu to do some much like Uma, Buddhism evolution, Tangshu Chungu to the Kala Olena, Hine and Alla Corera. Any Chisu Chungu to the Kala Olena, the Maha and Ashuporera. The Tingza and Echigani, Buddhism Ra, Buddhism Nanola, Sauce Clearest, Beer and Better Buddhism Lakora. Come on, the little chick, Kuzuki there has been a lot of evolutions into the Buddhism itself. Any Hine and Alla. It also called as a Theravada Ra. And then Kunsugi that the Chito Nikaran Sutanda looked at Nana. I have withdrawn these uh, small images from the uh, your textbook Ra. So it is saying that the Karada, uh, the follower of the older traditions, described themselves as a Theravada Ra. And the Chikhina and Rakuran Sulani, they were also called as a Theravada. And then Nikaran Sulatan, the Hine and the Mahayana Ingi. ในครั้งสุดเจ้าก็ในครั้งสุดที่เงินกู้สุดดูเรียนสุขจิตธรรมธรรมจิตกุญชูสุนดานนามิมินรีกุญชูสุมปัจจุนยูโชวาลากุญ
Lara weapon, raw dam and execute it. Tinsel a chasha and a consuganetic, a susu lazi than Kahachi or Eshuvara. And how the historians they could able to know all these things about Ra? Chick a Konazuki and the Shiva lay at the Niji Konzuki and the Ra sculpture the Niji Sune represents Shidula and then so much a cornish tail and a raw. And historians they raw know all these things through the Purans Ra. Then the Purans lay the Niji Brahmins get on the Tep Tisha Gurchik Ra. Any, uh, it has been uh, written into the very uh, simple Sanskrit languages. So it all describes about the god and goddess Ra. So through these things, uh, the historians they uh, read about the, all the Ra, Chik, uh, the uh, Ra, and the avatars that they call the Kunsu Okay, now we are going to be discussing about the building temples Ra. How they used to establish the temples and the, what are the changes that came into the later period about the buildings of the temples Ra. So, uh, in the very early period, the temple was built into the very small place Ra. The temple was uh, established into a small square room, which was also called as the Garbhagira Ra. And uh, they used to have only single doorways Ra, for the worshippers, so that they could able to enter into uh, from that doorways and to offer the worship to the image Ra. But the gradually, there has been changes. Uh, they used to build a tall structure, which was also known as the Shikara. And again, there was also evolutions. There was a changes. So the later, in the very later period, temple became a more elaborated. Such as they used to have assembly halls, huge wall was erected, and as well as they used to have gateways. And they uh, they also used to have an arrangement for the supplying water. So these are the changes which was added into the later period. And uh, the third century Devala Ra, Ashoka ke kharchi lena Ra, to chhumbo dinne lena Ra, thong thuje Ra. Ani kunsu ke thanda artificial cave suje, ani kunsu ke thanda dilala lagan suje Ra. Lagan de suje the suje lena, thanda Ajivika sect. So, the Kundam, the Karishun, and the Dere, the Chick Laga Dinzule, Chick Anis, Subter, Tamazon, and Chick Subject, and the Game, and a Chick Dinner, and Chick Gua Karikar Tabeme, the Dinzukola Share. Okay, so uh, we have also completed the, uh, this topic. Uh, there is a new religious tradition, so we are going to be uh, completing the next topic. Uh, into the next video.